Well, thank you, Dolores, for sending in a photo. I asked for some spring photos, and I think this pretty much sums it up. A beautiful shot. Looks just like spring. Spring officially starts on Thursday, but sure, it felt like it today. And tomorrow is going to be feeling even warmer. It's Monday that those cooler temperatures will arrive. And actually, when we get to Monday, that's actually how we should be feeling. It's going to be unseasonably warm all weekend long. In the 60s all along the I-5 corridor, excluding Mount Sexton, Ashland hit 65 degrees today in the mid-60s in Siskiyou County. And for the Rogue Valley, not 59 in Rogue River, but 70 out in Grants Pass and just shy of 70 in Medford. Nancy out in Prospect also reports 59 degrees for our high temperature. We are going to be in the 60s in Prospect and Butte Falls tomorrow. Right now across the area, still pretty mild. We're still seeing a few clouds out there, but nothing compared to the clouds we saw this morning. Sunshine has been on the increase all day long, and that's going to be the story tomorrow as well. Now, for our west side valleys, as well as at the coast, we could see some patchy fog in the morning hours, but that won't linger long. We're going to be seeing abundant sunshine through the day on Saturday and Sunday. Afternoon highs for the Rogue Valley back into the 70s as we head into the afternoon. That's about 15 degrees above average, above where we should be for this time of the year. That's why when we drop to average on Monday, it's going to be feeling a whole lot cooler. So high pressures in our area, that changes as we head into late Sunday, mainly overnight, mainly after midnight on Sunday into Monday. We'll see this cold front arrive, and I know it looks pretty potent out there, but it's basically going to be falling apart as it arrives. I'm really just expecting a few light isolated showers with this next system coming in. At the coast for tomorrow, we could see some clouds stick around. The coast is really the only area that I expect a few clouds to linger. Those low clouds that may create mostly cloudy conditions by the afternoon. But some areas further inland from the coast, just inland from the coast, we'll see those mostly sunny skies. And abundant sunshine inland from that, including northern California in the 70s tomorrow. Mount Shasta, a little bit cooler, but very mild for this time of the year. In the basin, most areas in the low to mid 60, 64 degrees in Klamath Falls by the afternoon. Lots of sunshine through the day after a chilly morning. In our mountains, mostly sunny skies, very mild afternoon. There's those mid 60s I was mentioning in Prospect and Butte Falls. And for the Rogue Valley, those low 70s by the afternoon. Could see some fog in the morning, but that won't linger long. We'll see lots of sunshine into Sunday as well. Now at the coast, clouds will be increasing on Sunday, but that rain won't arrive until after uh, midnight. And then we'll see showers and breezy conditions on Monday. Northern California, slight chance for showers on St. Patrick's Day, low 70s on the weekend, then mid 50s on Monday. In the basin from the 60s to the low 50s, look at the morning lows. Those are going to be feeling quite cold as we head into next week in the low 20s and our mountains a few showers on st patrick's day with snow levels down to 3,000 to 3 to 3500 feet could see snow over diamond lake and lake of the woods maybe about an inch to three inches in the cascades but it isn't going to be a huge snowstorm coming through and back into the 50s as we head into st patrick's day for the rogue valley but overall a very warm weekend